Hello everybody, this is Daniel Morrison from Matrix TSL and today we're going to be talking about Ghost technology and Flowcode 8.2. For those not familiar, Ghost is Matrix's own technology for debugging embedded systems. It makes use of Matrix hardware as well as Flowcode. It's great for testing programs which you've uh, developed or as you develop them and it's great for monitoring a program after it's developed and keeping an eye on, on its behavior and checking that it's functioning and that your hardware is functioning correctly. Ghost is made up of two components. The first is ICT. This stands for in-circuit test and it allows you to view the states of the pins of the microcontroller as the program is running. And the second component of Ghost is ICD, which stands for in-circuit debug. This allows you to remotely control the execution of the program on the microcontroller itself from flow code and it allows you to view the states of, of variables and, and various memory locations on the microcontroller. This video we're going to be talking about ICT and how it's changed in Flowcode 8.2. So how do, we, how do we make use of ICT? Well, it, it's, it's a case of plugging the eBlock 2 into the PC via micro USB uh, on eBlocks 2 and enabling Ghost from within Flowcode. This assumes um, we've already got a program running or, or we, we're making use of, of the pins of the microcontroller in some way. Now previously in Flowcode, in order to make use of ICT, you would have to tell the firmware on the eBlock which pins to sample and, and to send data for to Flowcode. Um, this is no longer the case. What we've done in Flowcode 8.2 is we've really tried to make Ghost and ICT in particular much easier to use, much simpler, much faster and and so simple that you can do it without a guide or, or any prior knowledge of, of microcontrollers. So how do we make use of, of Ghost now in 8.2? Well, in front of you, you'll see the data recorder. The data recorder has been overhauled in Flowcode 8.2, but we'll talk about that in another video. Um, for reference as well, the oscilloscope has also been overhauled for Flowcode 8.2, but we'll also talk about that in another video. In this video, we're just going to go through a very simple example of adding a pin to the data recorder and, and activating Ghost just so that you can get uh, an idea of how easy it is and how you would go about um, adding your own your own pins in Ghost. So if we have the data recorder open and we have the eBlock connected via micro USB, it's as simple as clicking add pin trace, selecting digital or analog. Um, in this example, we're going to select analog and we're going to select analog one, which can, uh, corresponds to the blue potentiometer that you can see here on the webcam. Um, this is select. Uh, this is connected to port A, pin one, which is also analog one of the microcontroller. So we select the correct pin, we click add. You can see that a stream's appeared on the data recorder. We can change the height of that stream. We can change the the color. So we'll set green for this example, and we activate Ghost by clicking the button here. You can see some data starting to appear, and you can see that as I turn the potentiometer here with my fingers, that the data on screen in flow code changes and, and this is all real time so this is not um, this is not a this is not delayed by any significant amount of time and, and this is this can be considered a real time representation of what's happening on the microcontroller and that's it really we can turn ghost off we can add multiple pins we can select different ports and we can view view all, uh, a large number of, of streams in the data recorder or oscilloscope and there's, there's really no complexity now to using Ghost. It's as simple as plugging it in, adding your pins, and clicking the Ghost button. I recommend that you check out the other videos in this series. We're going to be doing one on the data recorder and the oscilloscope, and we'll show how they've changed and how they're much easier to use and more functional as well. Thanks for listening.